Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this symbol. I don't know what it represents. And I asked how I would draw it in Corel Draw. I don't know about as far as scale, but I'm going to hold down the control button and make a ellipse and hit P. And then I'm going to take it another ellipse and I'm going to hit P. But then I'm going to select them both and I'm going to hit T like in Tom or top. Tom. And then I'm going to take this ellipse holding down the control button and I want it to snap right to that quadrant. Now I'm going to bring in indexing lines. They're in the center of the page. And I'm going to find out if I'm too big or too little. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to put that right in the center. It's not. Sometimes it looks like it's not, but it is. And I'm going to rotate it 12 degrees because I counted how many there were, and that's about right. So now, control D again and rotate it 24 degrees and so on and so on. Now, there's two ways. I don't know why that does that or once in a while. There's two ways you could make that shape. I like my second way better. You could do this and go back minus front, and then you have that outer shape. Or I actually prefer getting the Smart Fill tool. Let's set it on green and fill that in. So I have that shape. I'm gonna nudge it out of the way. I'm going to keep this ellipse and I'm going to, I'm not going to delete. I'm going to nudge everything out of the way. I didn't get everything. And then I'm going to hit P and put it back. And I'm going to left click, right click in black this time. I'm going to get this ellipse. And if you have snap to object, whoop, you can move it right and have it like, well, it's not going to snap unless I grab the corner line, but you still want the, the uh, I jiggled a little bit. Let me come back. You still want the, the four pointy cross. Now, looking at this, they have a, the ellipse is just a little bit smaller. So holding down the, the shift key with the two sided cross, Well, just kind of bring it into it's about like, about like that. I think I jiggled it right at the end. There's the two sided, it turns to four. Then just take a rectangle. I'd actually hit P and put it in the center of the page. That way, when you do that, it'll be the, and then I'm holding down the control button. That looks pretty good. Might be a little bit thick. Let me um, bring it in a little bit, holding down the shift key. Now, I'm not going to worry. I'm going to bring my indexing lines back. I'm going to grab both those items, Control G to group, Control D to duplicate. Click on it, move the center rotation of the center. Click off of it, make sure you're there, and rotate that 12 degrees. And then just 24 degrees, and so on and so on and so on. Now on this, we're going to use the Smart Fill tool, but we're going to use the an outside. We're going to take a rectangle. I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Ah. I actually need to nudge this. Tell you what, I'm going to change my nudge factor to like 20. Nudge that over. And then take my smart field. I'm going to change colors. You don't have to. There you have that pretty close identical shape. Mine's bigger. 
Uh, but I don't know if that thing's a scale. I'm, uh, I'm pretty close. And if you had to <clears throat> make it that same, well, you could measure and make it, you know, let's just do that. Take the parallel dimension tool, go about from the outside of that circle to the outside. We got 9.5. Take this. I was pretty close, 9.5 with my ratio lock. Then if they need that color, which I don't really know, you could grab your color eyedropper and take a sample there and do that right there. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.